So as you may have seen recently, Julian Lenetsky, the creator of the Godot engine, tweeted about this Godot Jolt extension. Godot Jolt is the Jolt physics engine ported to Godot 4.1. In his tweet he even talks about how Jolt may become the standard physics engine for Godot someday. The tweet also says, you can already try it out in extension form thanks to the great work by Thermina which is the creator of the Godot Jolt add-on. So if you actually want to install the Godot Jolt extension, you need to go to the GitHub page, link in the description, then scroll down to releases and click on whatever is the newest available version, and then just download Godot Jolt v0.4.1 stable.zip. So for this extension to work, you need to extract the zip folder into the folder of your Godot project. So let's just create a new Godot project real quick, Name it Godot Jolt, create folder and create and edit. So now that the folder for the Godot project exists, you can go to your downloads folder and copy the zip file. Then go to wherever your project is located, paste in the file and extract it. You can now delete the zip folder. If we now go back to Godot, it's going to prompt you to save and restart the editor for the extension to be installed. So click on save and restart. And now you're basically finished. But you still need to change the physics engine and the project settings from Godot Physics to Jolt. So let's do that. Go to project, project settings, then enable advanced settings. Then scroll down to physics and click on 3D. Note that Jolt is currently only available for 3D. Then here, where it says Physics Engine, click on Default and then choose Jolt Physics 3D. It's gonna prompt you to restart the editor, so just click on Save and Restart. And once the editor has restarted, you're basically good to go. So just to give you a small demonstration on how to use the Physics Engine, it basically replaces every physics object in Godot, except for a Softbody 3D, which is not supported, and World Boundary Shape 3D, which is also not supported. So let's for example add a Rigid Body 3D to the scene, give it a Collision Shape, and because this is my own custom colored Collision Shape 3D, link to a video about that in the description, I can give it an image, and once I set a shape, for example a sear shape, the image is gonna show up on the collision shape. And just to have something for the rigid body to fall onto, let's add a CSG box. Enable use collision, maybe set the dimensions to 5 times 0 0.5 times 5. Rotate it a bit, move it down a bit, then add a camera, move that back. And yeah, if you now run the scene, you can see the rigid body falling off of the platform, with the main difference being that it's now using Jolt physics. If you want to change the settings of the physics engine, you can do that by going to project, project settings and then scrolling down to physics and then clicking on Jolt 3D and here you can find every setting that the physics engine exposes to you. If you found this video useful, consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.